Hi, I'm Dala and today we are preparing for a snowstorm and also checking out some Modbus RTU decoding. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna be adding a very special outlet to the shop and uh, this is just a normal like uh, Shuko outlet but uh, this one is gonna be super special because it's going to deliver power when the grid is down. And before I explain more, I'm just gonna get started on mounting it. By this time you've seen me open up this hybrid inverter way too many times now, but I promise this will be the last time. I need to open it to get access to the PV point outlet connection. Well, what is a PV point you may ask? According to the manual, the PV point outlet is a non-uninterruptible single-phase backup power circuit which supplies electrical devices with up to 3 kW if sufficient power is available from the PV modules or the battery." End quote. So, before we had batteries in the mix, it didn't really make sense to add this outlet because if you only have sun available, the PV outlet is going to be very unstable. This all changed now with the addition of a battery, and it makes sense to have it available. While I am installing this, here are the specifications of the outlet according to the manual. The specs aren't really that great, it's just a single phase, but uh, keep in mind that this will be for emergencies only, and I really hope we never need to use it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the installation footage. Ok, let's wire in this outlet. So this piece right here is uh, actually a bit strange, it's uh, marked with uh, uh, NN and L1. So there's actually on this side here, inside, there is a PEN joint. So the leftmost side will join this uh, PEN joint and I'll put up the, the Fronius schematic right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, wire this thing in. I forgot the stupid cap. Ah! There is just one more thing I need to do, and that is to label it. Nerdkraft is uh, Swedish for emergency power. At least you learned something by watching this video. Okay, now that we got the emergency power sorted, let's talk a bit more about the Modbus recording. So, I've uh, placed a laptop here that I have um, TeamViewer installed on so that I can remotely control it. And it's also hooked up directly to the RTU network with a cheap USB adapter and uh, right now it's running a Python script uh, which was kindly made by Entropia over on the Patreon uh, Discord server so 
Massive thanks. We, we actually have a lot of uh, reverse engineering going on there from uh, various members and uh, it's been really helpful and speeding up this project a lot. So, uh, what's next here? Uh, basically, we're going to be taking a lot of different logs from various scenarios, like uh, starting up the battery, shutting it down, uh, charging the battery, emergency charging it, charging it, it via solar and also discharging it and uh, kind of see what registers are being uh, read and written and uh, that way we can cross-reference it with uh, screenshots from the battery BMS program and just try and reverse engineer brute forcing and checking what the values could mean. And uh, that's basically it. It's going to be a lot of logs to sift through before we can think about putting in our own battery here. So it's going to take a few weeks, but it will be very interesting for sure. And if you think you can help, uh, shoot me a message and I'll invite you to the server. Or you can also become a Patreon member if you want to support this project. I mean, we're, we're really moving at full steam here. So if you have a Fronius inverter, it's exciting times for sure for you. And yeah, that's where we're at. So I think I'm going to end the video here and um, yeah, bye.